All right, guys. So uh, here's that un unboxing uh, video that I promised. So um, several weeks back, I got an email from Funeral Industries, uh, which if you aren't familiar with them, uh, they're a German-based label. Um, it looks like they primarily put out like underground black and death metal and stuff like that. Uh, they emailed me and wanted to know if they could send me a package and, uh, and I could do a little promotion for them. And I said, sure. So, uh, here we are. So they sent me a nice package. There's a lot, a lot of good stuff in here. Um, so let's just kind of jump right into it. Um, there's some CDs, uh, there's a few records and, uh, there's also something else um, that I won't mention. I'll I'll kind of wait. I'll wait till I get to that to uh, to talk about it. But yeah, <clears throat> so let's start with the CDs. Um, and I prepared for this video too. I wrote down information and everything. That way I didn't screw anything up. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. Um, this is the first thing. This is Acheron with the Final Conflict: Last Days of God. So, um, I knew of Acheron before, um, I got this package. I just hadn't really listened to them. And, uh, yeah, I thought they were pretty good. If you're not familiar with Acheron, they are a, uh, uh, they play kind of a, oh, they're death metal, uh, but they have, they, they do one of those styles where it's like, you know, sprinkles of black metal here and there. Um, really good stuff though. So yeah, it comes in this really nice uh, A5 digipack. And uh, Acheron is from uh, the States, uh, Florida to be exact. And this is their full length from 2009. So there's that. All right, next up. So this, um, I actually had heard this. It, it's just been a while since I'd listened to it. Uh, this is one of the few things in here that I had I had actually heard. Um, this is Belial with Wisdom of Darkness. Um, if you're not familiar with Belial, they are a, a Black Death band from Finland. Uh, this is their EP from 92, I believe. Yep. Um, really, really, really good stuff. Um, Blyle's not really a band you hear too many people talk about. Um, if you're a fan of like Archgoat and Beharit, this this shit is up your alley. Um, this this stuff is really really good. And uh, this is like this is a repress. Obviously, it's not the first press. Um, so this also has some bonus tracks too, which uh, from what I gathered were live recordings, and they're super fucking raw. Uh, sound is really muddy. You could still make out what's going on, though. But yeah, um, I, I definitely recommend this um, for sure. Belial's great, especially this release. Um, so yeah, and like I said, Archgoat and Beharit. If you like those, if you like those bands, definitely go check out Belial. All right, that is Belial with Wisdom of Darkness. Next up, we have. Mortis with uh, the song of a long forgotten ghost. Uh, this is Mortis's first demo from '93, and uh, I think most people are familiar with Mortis. Um, Mortis is arguably the godfather of dungeon synth. Um, I would say next to Varg. <laughs> so, I mean, unless there are other acts that. I'm just missing that came beforehand, but I don't know. I'm not a Dungeon Synth fanboy. I do like Dungeon Synth. I just don't, I'm just not like, I don't know the whole, like all the background history and stuff behind it. But uh, yeah, just like the Acheron CD comes in this nice uh, A5 uh, digipack thing. But yeah, um, so like I said, this is Mortis's first demo. Um, long demo too. It's like 50 minutes long, and it's only one track, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, great stuff. I I love Mortis. Um, 
I saw Mortis at Steel Fest last year, and it was great, and he's about ready to do a U.S. tour, so, I mean, fuck, man. Even if you're not really a fan of Dungeon Synth, if you can make one of those dates... I would say definitely do it because it's it's worth it. It's it's a great it's a great show. <clears throat> but yeah, um, that's Mortis with the song of a long forgotten ghost. All right, and the last CD. Um, so this um, I had not heard of this band prior to getting this package. Um, this is Ominous Resurrection with Omnis Omniscient. I think I pronounced that right. Um, this is their full length from 2014, and these guys are from the States, and they play black metal. So yeah, I thought this was uh, kind of interesting. Um, it's got a lot of doomy kind of experimental elements in it, or at least that's how I would kind of describe it. It's not definitely not all black metal. But yeah, definitely worth a listen though. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, Ominous Resurrection with Omniscient. All right, that's it for the CDs. Um, so I, ha I have a seven inch. And uh, this is, now I'm going to, now this name, I don't know if it's pronounced one way or the other, so I'm just going to kind of wing it here. Um, this is a split between Johansson and Speckman and uh, Torture Pulse. So Johansson and Speckman is one band, and then Torture Pulse is the other band. So Johansson and Speckman is a... Uh, Death metal band from it has uh, members that are from the Czech Republic, Sweden, and Norway, and Torture Pulse is death metal band from Finland, and this split is called Lair of the Wretched, which came out in two thousand thirteen. Um, I thought this split was pretty good. Um, I think I preferred the jo Johansson and Speckman side, uh, but both sides are pretty good. Uh, to be fair. Yeah, it comes with this uh, nice insert for both, uh, both sides for both bands. And then uh, it's just black vinyl. There's the labels. <clears throat> so yeah, that is uh, Johansson and Speckman and Torture Pulse with Lair of the Wretched. Pretty good split. And now we get to the 12 inch records and we're gonna go back to Acheron one more time. Um, this is their uh, two, or not 2000, my bad. Uh, 1996 full length with Anti-God, Anti-Christ. Um, I thought this was really good. Uh, there were a couple tracks that, that I didn't really care for, but overall, as an album, I thought it was pretty good. So, comes off with, or comes with a uh, lyric insert, and got a picture of the band on that side. And it comes on this nice gold vinyl you got side anti God and side anti Christ. And I also, I also didn't know this, but I didn't know Acheron was split up either, because when I was, uh, I used the shit out of Metal Archives <laughs> when I was uh, preparing for this video. Uh, so when I was originally looking up information for this band, I didn't know they were split up. Hmm. But yeah, that's Acheron with Anti-God, Anti-Christ. All 
All right. So next up, we had a we have a band that I had not heard of prior to getting this package. Um, this is Agrath, or Agroth, Agrath. I think it's Agrath with uh, Thy Kingdom Come, and this is a uh, black metal band from the U.S. I was surprised to see a lot of U.S. Uh, acts uh, on this label, uh, considering it's a German label. <clears throat> But yeah, this is their 2015 full length. Um, I had kind of mixed opinions about this album. Um, I thought it, I didn't think it was bad. I just didn't think it was good. I thought it was about average. It's pretty average black metal in my opinion. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot that stuck out. Uh, it comes with a nice lyric insert and then it's just uh black vinyl with pretty basic labels um however though um it's still worth a listen um some of you may form a different opinion than me so i mean i obviously i obviously uh, can't speak for everybody but So yeah, that's Agrath with Thy Kingdom Come. All right, and the last record, we have a split between uh, Mortuary Drape and uh, Necromass. Uh, both are Italian uh, black metal bands. Um, Mortuary Drape is more on the black death side, but Necromass is uh, definitely more on the black metal side. So this is probably the only record or one of the only records that I now own that opens from the top instead of the sides, which is kind of different. But anyways, uh, back to the music. Um, both sides were pretty good. Um, actually, I probably enjoyed the Necromass side more than the Mortuary Drape side, uh, to be honest. And uh, this split came out in 2015. Forgot to mention that. And it comes with an insert. You got the Mortuary Drape side and the Necromass side. I know it's kind of hard to see. You guys know how shitty the lighting in my room is. And it comes on this nice red vinyl. But, uh, so yeah, I was already uh, familiar with Mortuary Drape. Uh, Necromass I had heard of, but I just never listened to them. Yeah, so. And I, I also didn't own anything. I haven't bought anything by Mortuary Drape yet, so. So getting this was pretty convenient. So now I finally have something by them. <clears throat> So yeah, that is the Mortuary Drape and Necromass split. So I forgot to mention the Mortuary Drape side is called Dance of Spirits. And the Necromass side is called Ordo Equilibrium Nox. Forgot to point that out when I first showed it, but whatever. Good split. All right, and now time for the uh, surprise item. We have a really nice uh, Absu flag. <clears throat> Trying to hold it to where you guys can see it, but yeah. It looks better in person. It looks really shitty because the lighting is not good in here, but yeah, it, it looks it looks really cool. If you're looking at if you're looking at it in person. But yeah. Um and if you're not familiar with Absu, uh, they're a black thrash band uh, from the States. <clears throat> yeah, 
So yeah, guys, uh, that is it for this uh, unboxing video. Many thanks to uh, Funeral Industries for sending me this package. It was very generous of you, considering the amount of stuff that was in here. Um, so yeah, um, a link for their website will be in the description. And uh, I'll have links for uh, to where you can check out all this stuff and listen to it for yourself in the description as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. Again, um, thank you, Funeral Industries, for this package. It was awesome. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.